Okay, in this video, I will be talking about linked list in Python. So linked list is a data structure that's used to have, um, you'll have like a node and each node will have a value and a pointer to the next node associated with the linked list. And all the things are linked together, pointing from one item to the other item. And it's good for removing items from the middle. And it's also good for inserting items in the front. But typically, if you want to try to access a specific index or you want to program the implementation of it, array is usually easier. So it's going to depend on case by case, which is best for your application. Uh, but either way, in this video, I'll be focusing on how to implement the linked list. So first off, you need to have a node class that will hold your value and the pointer to your next node. So I'm going to create a node. And inside, I'm going to create a constructor called init. And I will pass in a self value and then the next, which is the next node. And then inside, I'll have a self dot value, set it equal to value, and then a self dot next equal to next. And I will create my class linked list. And inside my linked list class, I'm going to create a constructor, so init self, and I'm going to have a head. So this will be by default pointing to none, but then when I create a linked list, the head will point to something. Okay, so let's start off by having a print function. So let's say def print list. And inside, I'm going to have a temp node. And I will set that temp node to the head. And the idea is I'm going to loop through all the, the different uh, nodes inside the list until I reach the none. Because every time you add a node into your list, the very last one will be pointing to a none. And that's how you know it's the end of your list. So here I have a temp node and then I'm going to use a while loop. So while temp node is not none, I'm going to print temp node dot value and then temp node equals, I'm going to set it to the following node. So temp node next. Okay. So here we don't have a linked list yet. It's empty. So I'm going to create some functions to test it out. So I'm going to do if name equals main and run. So I'll run everything inside this if statement here, which is our main function. And I'm going to create a linked list. So I'm going to say my, my linked list um, equals linked list. And let's see if I do print you're going to see there should be nothing in there. So if I run this, make sure it's a Python file. OK, so you see nothing is printed as expected. So let's make a function that can add something to the front of the linked list. So I'm going to say def um, add to front. And I will pass in the self and a value. So to add something to a front is pretty easy. You just modify what the head is pointing to, and then you create a node. And we will point to that. So I'm going to create a temporary node. And then inside, I will make a node. Then I will pass in a value. And then the next thing that it points to will be what the head was pointing to, so self.head. And then. Now self.head will equal your temp node. So what this does is it creates a temporary node with the current value that I'm trying to insert. And then the temp node's next pointer will be pointing to the head. And because currently the head is none, then you know this new this new node will have the value that I'm inserting and is pointing to none. And then the new head now gets pointed to the temporary node or the new node that I created. Okay, so now if I were to insert 
um, if I do add to front and let's just say I add Kevin in there, and if I run this again, you can see that it prints out Kevin. Okay, so that's the first item that I added to my list. And let's say I wanted to add something else. So my link list dot add to front. Maybe I add John in here. So if I print this out, because John is added in front of Kevin, I should see John and then Kevin. Okay, so if I print that out, you see John, Kevin. Okay, so that's how you add to front. And let's say we wanted to add to the back. So let's make a function called def add to back. And inside, I'm going to pass in self and value. So passing in self and value, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say my previous last node is going to be set to my head node. Okay, and then I'm going to loop while previous last node, next node, the pointer, the node that I'm pointing to next, while it's not none. I'm going to set my previous last node equal to my previous last node dot next. And then I'm going to set my last node to a new node that I'm going to pass in my value and it's going to point to none. Then I will set my previous uh, last node dot next equals to last node. Okay, so what this does is it creates like a temporary node that I'm calling previous last node here and storing that as self head. I'm going to keep looping through the, the list until it hits none. And then when it hits none, I'm going to create my last node, store it into node. Then I will take the last node and point that to what my, my original last node was at. I will have the next point to the very last node that I created. Okay, so that's how you would add to back. And I could verify this if I do my link list dot add to back and I put in, let's say, uh, Gary. So if I run this, it should print John, Kevin, Gary because Gary was added last. Okay, so that's how you could add something to the back. Now, let's say we wanted to have a universal function maybe based on some uh, criteria, let's say we want it to be in alphabetical order, I could have something that says def add note, and this will be a generic function that's going to be in alphabetical order. It doesn't have to be alphabetical, it could be whatever criteria you decide. But here, because we're using strings, um, alphabetical is my choice. So inside, what I'm going to do is do some initial check. So if the head is none, meaning that we have an empty linked list, what I'm going to do is add, add to front because you know it's empty. And then after that, l if I'm going to do some conditions. So if the value that I'm looking at is less than the head's value, then I'm going to add it in front of the head. So I'm going to say, L if value is less than self dot head dot value, so the value of the head. And if it's less than oops, self dot head dot value. Okay, so if it's less than I'm gonna do self dot add to front again and I'm gonna pass in value. Then the third condition, which is the last condition, is um if it's gonna be in the back or maybe somewhere in between. So I'm going to set a temp node and initially point that to head. So I'm going to loop through all the linked lists. So I'm going to say while temp node dot next is not none. And if the value is greater than temp node dot next dot value, so the value of the next node, I'm going to break. Oh, actually, I'm going to have another and statement. So if my value is bigger than my temp node's next value and my value is less than my temp node, this should be temp node value. And then this should say temp 
node.next dot value. So if my current value, if it's bigger than my current value and less than my next value, so some if it's somewhere in between, essentially, what I want to do is break out of this while loop. So I'm going to break. And then after I break, what I want to do is set my temp node equal to the following node. So temp node equals temp node dot next. So if I do this, I'm going to print something just so I can differentiate between the two things we were testing. And I'm going to create a new uh, ordered linked list right here. So I'm going to call this ordered LL for short. So if I do uh, my linked list dot add node, and let's just say Kevin, for example, and if I print my list, and if I run this, this should be my ordered LL. Okay, so if I run this, you can see that it prints out Kevin, right? So now if I want to maybe, let's say, add another name, let's say Amy. Okay, so if I just add Amy to this, I should expect Amy to go in front of Kevin because A is less than K. So if I run this, you can see Amy, Kevin. And if I do this again, and maybe add something that's near the end. So let's say maybe Sabrina. So if I run Sabrina, I should expect Sabrina to be after Kevin. And if I run this, you see that it's not working. Okay, so you can see that, as I was saying, it didn't print out the third thing. So we actually need to add uh, two lines of code here. So we have new node equals node um, because it wasn't actually being created. And then you have temp node dot next here. And then you have temp node dot next equals new node. Okay, so let's run this again. And you see Sabrina got added. Okay, so what this part does is um, it loops through everything. And then here you have, uh, you create a new node and you set your current value they're looking at. And then the next one is pointing to the temp nodes next. And then the temp nodes next is gonna be pointing to the new node. Okay, so if it happens to be at the end, then this will create that last node in there. So you can see that this add node will work if you're trying to add things in a certain order. So now let's look at how you would remove a node. So let's say I'm going to call a function called def remove node, and inside I'll pass in a self and value. Okay, so inside, uh, spacing's off. Okay, so inside I'm gonna say, create a temp node equals self.head as before. So that's gonna be the node that we're gonna start iterating from. Then I'll have a if temp node dot value is value, then we're gonna set the head node equals to self.head.next. So if the current value we're looking at is the value that we're trying to remove, then what we're going to do is change the head value to the head's next value. Okay, so this will only happen if, if the first thing that we're looking at is the head. Basically, the head is the value we're, we're actually trying to move. And then you have a while loop. We're going to loop through all the other nodes. So while it's not... While it's uh, not equal to none, we're going to check everything. So we're going to say if temp node dot next dot value, or actually if temp node dot next. So if temp node, temp node dot next is not equal to none, and temp node dot next dot value is the value that we're looking at we're going to want to break. 
And then we'll set temp node to be temp node's next node that is pointing to. Okay, so it's going to go through the whole linked list. And then as long as we're not pointing to none, because if we're pointing to none, we know that we reach the end. Then we say that if the value is equal, we're going to exit. And then we'll take our current node and point it to the next node. So it's essentially skipping a node in between. And that's how we will remove it. OK, so if temp node is not equal to none, we're going to say temp node dot next equals temp node dot next dot next. OK, so this will take the next node and set it to the one following that. So if we try removing something, so let's say my order link list dot remove node, and let's say we want to remove Kevin. So if I run this, you see that Kevin disappeared. Okay. And then the last function we want to implement is a find node. So we want to see if a certain node exists. So inside here, we're going to have, like before, we're going to start off with a temp node. That's going to be our head node. And we're going to loop through while it's not none. So while we're not at the end of the linked list, if the node value is equal to the value that we're looking at, we want to return true. And then we will set our temp node equals to temp node dot next to keep uh, moving forward in the list as we iterate. And then if we were to uh, finish the whole while loop, when it reaches none and we still don't find anything, what we want to do is just return false. Okay, so that's how you do a find node, and we could do a test. So we're going to print my ordered ll dot find node, and we're going to see if we could find Amy, for example, and see if it prints true. You see that it prints true. And notice that we removed Kevin, so we try to find the Kevin node. You see that it prints false. Okay, so that wraps up how you implement a linked list. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.